the tension is palpable and you can understand why two high level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up live coverage coming your way next here on EA TV Hello everyone, great to be with you. We're broadcasting today from just to the northwest of Palma from the Visit Mallorca Estadi. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Mallorca and they take on Real Madrid. Thanks Derek, as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Oh, could be an opportunity here. Mbappe. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Ferlon Mendy plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Rodrigo plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. From a long way out. And he's hit it with authority. But the keeper takes charge. And it was pretty straightforward. Well, Vinicius Jr. is the sort of player who wears his heart on his sleeve. We can tell that he enjoys playing this great game. What do you expect to see from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past the... Oh, Stewart, opportunity here. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Rayo it's with Sergi Dardère excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward this could be the equaliser well it might still work out for them Well, that's a sad end to the attack. Well, back and forth in terms of possession. Asano. Interception to snuff out the danger. Individual brilliance. And with that, the move comes to an end, and a goal kick to follow now. Retaining possession proving difficult. his physical strength to shield it using all his defensive acumen to cut it out well a joy to watch well, defending always has to be a team effort good piece of covering there to intercept Real might threaten on the flank 
Valverde able to close down the shot. Oh, surely. And it's in. Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Darder. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Molanes. And really spot on with the challenge. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. And over it comes. And the problem not completely solved. And struggling to get the shot off. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. A corner will ensue. Can someone get on the end of this? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? He's driven in the corner. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Thwarted there, and what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Muriki, what a vital intervention. Good technique displayed. Just straying offside. Valverde and a strong tackle Darder and almost at half time Real Madrid with the lead here Stuart interested to get your thoughts yeah they're playing really well here they've controlled the flow of the game they've won their individual battles and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. Oh, he's blocked it! Just the clearance that was called for. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, finally, the whistle had to be sounded. Electing to shoot. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this.
Well, Federico Valverde, one man who's certainly not hiding out there. He's been great to watch. Well, his skill level to go past defenders and get shots away has been excellent today. The only surprise, he's just got the one goal. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. He could pick out a teammate. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. High pressing at its best. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Kyle Larin. Rodrigo. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Really good build-up, but no end product. Losing possession here. Darter. And Real with the ball again. Nacho Vidal. Might be a chance here. He had to react and did. How to play Real Madrid throw here. <laughs> Mbappe trying to chip it over the keeper and tipping it over the crossbar. So a Real Madrid corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Struggling to get it away. Mbappe. Oh, it's a superb challenge. Very timely. Bellingham. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Could be. Well, going for the chip and might now be wishing he hadn't. Absolutely. He's just wasted a really good position. That's a poor effort. Morlanis showing a real will to win the ball not a great challenge free kick here well he had a decent reading of that ball in breaking at pace Rodrigo must be Keeping it out. Well, I have to say, that was a fine save, which just about keeps this game alive. Well, it's attractive football, but they need effective football. They need a goal. Still could be dangerous. In it goes. But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And 
a throw in forthcoming. Well, that wasn't part of the plan, was it? Giving the ball away like that. Well, racing past his man. Mbappe! There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So on they go again. And every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here. Mbappe, chance to finish, and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Unable to keep the ball. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Well, Real Madrid fans have enjoyed this. A dominant performance, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Well, these fans are starting to leave here. There's just no chance of a comeback now. Substitution time it is here. Rayo. Mojica. Danny Rodriguez. There to win it back. Rodrigo. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Really pressing their opponents. Failed to keep hold of it. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Could be a chance to break here. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. And there's the full-time whistle. Maximum points for Real Madrid. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, choose your descriptive word where Kylian Mbappe is concerned. Explosive is one adjective you could use, Stuart. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is, he kept on getting into the right areas, and he scored a very good goal as well.